Kia ora whanau. welcome back, or welcome, if you haven't already been. <laughs> so we're uh, in some weird times, day one of the nationwide lockdown, and I have decided uh, that I want to do a podcast at least every day. Some of them will be with guests, like today's episode, some will be just me talking about some stuff. Um, one thing I want to note early, straight from the beginning, I'm not going to do any voice editing, not going to do any um, filters or anything. I just, that will stop me from getting them out. So they'll be raw. Most of them will be just recorded over Zoom because we obviously can't do them in person. Um, so please bear with the sound quality and um, I hope you enjoy them. So yeah, the, today's episode's uh, a friend of mine, Quinn. Um, I call him Quinston Peters, uh, and he is a young guy from Wellington in his early 20s who uh, does a lot of um, cool stuff in the car scene, and also more recently has switched his focus to making music. So um, check him out on Quinn, uh, just google quinn.wave and you'll find all his stuff. But yeah, that's enough of that, on with the episode. Three, two, one. Welcome, Jaden. Hey, bro. How's it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> what are you drinking? Ah, uh, not bad, eh? I'm drinking some uh, some sort of Russian vodka. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> the cheap. I shit? guess they're all Russian, but <laughs> the cheap stuff. Nah, it's, it's actually like sixty bucks. Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah. Bro. What's the, um, have you got the bottle? No, it's the uh, lounge. <laughs> I'm on the old dirty old Smirnoff's. Oh, yeah? And the zero, zero sugar Wicked's from the warehouse. Oh, bro, they go so hard. Yeah, they taste <laughs> exactly like Red Bull, I reckon. Yeah, bro. And they're cheap. Quite syrupy. Yes. They don't let me get um, two, though, when I went yesterday, because everything's on a limit of two at the warehouse. Oh, that's crazy, man. I was like, I need more than two, so I bought two of every single sort. Yeah. I, know, I know the way around those tricks. Yeah, man. So how's things? I'm pretty good, bro, actually. Just been making tons of music, like literally like free songs every day, so I just have a bit of music in my vault, you know? Ooh, I love it. Yeah. Taking, taking, uh, opportun- making opportunities when, uh, when there are none. When they take something off you, eh, you just got to <laughs> keep on pushing, brother. <laughs> That's right. I really yeah. like that, um, what's it, Harley race? Oh, uh, yeah, the one that, the, the old school wrestler. That's, um, that, yeah, yeah. That's nice boat, green, man. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, I reckon bro. you should put another verse to that, because it's only real short, eh? Yeah, there is a part two coming, uh, actually. Yeah. Um, in the next set of like few weeks, hopefully three weeks, there's going to be another EP. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, bro. Oh, I like that idea. I yeah, actually really like that song. It's real sort of, I don't know what I liked about it, but it's really <laughs> cool. Yeah. So um, for people who don't know you, my listeners who mm. might not know you, tell us about mm. a bit about who you are, bro. Um, <laughs> so I was in a bit of trouble uh, in, in about two years ago. And so I started making music. Um, I really, at the start, like wanted to make beats, like actual beats, the boom, boom, psh, you know, um, yep. that sort of stuff. And then, so I, I had a go and hard. I, I didn't, I didn't get anywhere with that. I literally tried for like two months straight and nothing. And I helped got make, mates to help me out which they did help me out with beat packs and stuff like that and yeah so I just kind of gave up on that and then one day I, I always said to myself hey like when I was even younger I was like, I want to rap but like I never had the guts to yeah and then just recently shit's just started to take off you know like Spotify and people hitting me up for verses and stuff like that it's crazy like <laughs> that's cool um, yeah. And how old are you? 23. And you're from? New Zealand, Wellington. Wellington. 
Yeah. Nice. Flow it hard, boy. <laughs> um, so when you say trouble, you're talking about car scene stuff or? Yeah, just a uh, bit of drugs, as you can tell from my music that I put out there. Um, to me, like it, the music, so whenever I feel like doing some drugs, I just make a track. Mm, and I nice. always incorporate what's coming through my head. You know, um, a lot of my stuff is freestyle. So just straight from my, from my head. You know? From the top of the dome. Yeah, man. <laughs> if you rock, 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 rock the microphone. Yeah, man, you know how it goes. Okay, so <laughs> how long have we been friends? Maybe four or five years? Yeah, I reckon about four years. Maybe eh? a bit longer, yeah. So how do you now? 25? 23. 23. Yeah, still so young, I bro. Four, I reckon four years. <laughs> yeah, about four years, bro. Um, and we met through the car scene, and you were doing photography pretty hard out, Quinn's Media. Yeah, bro. <laughs> um, we'll be back on that buzz one day. Yeah, like I see this all as like you're probably too young to realize or or, mm. or or have distance from it, but I see this all as the same thing for you. Yeah. Like all your things that you do and all the things that you're into are all yeah. just part of who you are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're all related in, in a in a way as well. Mm, definitely. Um, all creative, all artistic. Yeah. Um, and the thing that I told you a long time ago that I think separates you from a lot of people is your drive. Mm, definitely, um, yeah. You, you switch... You switch up what you're into quite, quite regularly. Fast. Yeah, yeah. But you have the same sort of drive across all of them, which yeah. doesn't really make sense, but does make sense in my mind. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And I think when you get into sort of a more stable and financial <laughs> position, which you only really get when you get a bit of age behind you, you'll realize yeah. that keeping on going with everything is doable and you don't have to completely get out of one to do another. Definitely. Yeah. And I think that's when that'll become your superpower, man. Like, yeah, I'd love to gonna be, everything. you're going to be good at hmm. a lot of things that, that yeah. translate into, um, who you are as a package. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's quite exciting. Um, out of all the things that you've done to date, mm. which of them do you think, like, because just for the people that don't know, you, you're a mm. graffiti writer, yeah, um, photographer, um, yeah. you're into fashion and design, yeah. um, do a bit of video stuff, mm. um, which you're doing more and more of, and you're doing the rapping. Which of yeah. all of those things, so that's five things I count at least, do you think mm. comes to you most naturally i think for me to notice myself is definitely music i think because like it just happens so naturally bro like i just literally just sit down bro and i can just think i don't even need to think yeah that's impressive because like when it you just called, blows when you made a call recently for someone to give you some bars i was like i reckon i could yeah, do it but I'd have to think about it. Yeah. And I'd have to spend Definitely. some time with a pad and yeah. paper. I mean, um, like, that's the other thing, bro. Like, um, or going back to what you were saying earlier about the whole, like, the drive thing. Like, literally, bro, I'll put on a beat from YouTube or something and I won't even listen to it. So I'm just not even prepared. And I just, just about any song that I make, it's just like, cool, I like that. I listen to it for 10 seconds put it in my head it's probably going to end in about 15 seconds the bars the verse needs to come in you know and then i'm just yeah literally bro like so what of, so what you're saying is you understand the sort of structure just the of, tempo and stuff like that i just know yeah. how to work around that that's interesting i feel as though i have that um knowledge innately yeah. as well because yeah I do a lot of DJing or I have done mm. a lot of DJing. Uh, I'm something I'm getting back into. Yeah. Um, and like decks or um, I've 
DJ with Dex, I'm just yep. onto um, MIDI's now, like just like oh, yeah. uh, MIDI controllers. Spins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But what I've always found, and I never was taught it, is I knew when drops were coming, and I knew yeah, when, bro. you know what's the top of the of the four four and all that sort of stuff. It just came naturally to me. Yeah, and I think that's a big part of being a good rapper. Like you see a good rapper and a good DJ together, like a true DJ. Yeah. They know when to fade the beat in and out, and the exactly, rapper knows bro. when to bring the bars, and it's yeah. all the same thing, eh? Yeah, bro. It's, um, pretty crazy. Yeah. No, I, I think music is something. Mm. I think you probably can learn it, and I probably am dismissing the fact that I took guitar lessons for freaking years. Yeah. Um, but I think it's definitely something. I think some people probably mm. can't learn to be a yeah. musician. I guess it depends what type of musician, really. Like, you can learn to train your voice, but not everyone can have the structure, you know? Yeah, like, I think some can't people can't even there. learn to train their voice, bro. Like, I think yeah. some people just can't sing. And I yeah. think with music making... It's yeah. probably a percentage, and it's probably a greater percentage than those that can. Yeah, definitely. They can't yeah. actually, are never going to be able to make music. Yeah. It's something that's sort of in you or not to some degree, mm. I think. Which is weird because I don't think that about many things. I, I personally believe that most people are capable of most things. Yeah. But I don't think it's the case with music. Mm. You either got it or you sort of have it or you don't <laughs> yeah you've either got it and you could develop it and you don't yeah or you don't have it i mean like and saying that like i got i got a few of the boys who um close mates of mine who really want to make music sorry man my my mum's screaming at him <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so basically like i got a few mates who really would love to do it but you know, uh, shout outs Dre. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he just says that he doesn't have the voice and stuff. And I'm like, bro, like you've seen me. Hey, I've known him since I was in nappies, you know? Yeah. And he's seen me do it before any of anyone else, you know, mm. would, would get pissed and shit like that and faded as stoned and stuff like that. Naughty stuff. And I don't know how PG you want this, bro. You know, like <laughs> uh, not overly, bro. Not overly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I guess in the sense because like that's me. You know, like I'm yeah. quite out there. You know, um, definitely. He's seen me in some some states. You know, he's seen me rap about a few things, stuff yeah. like that. And I'm always to him, bro. I'm always like, bro, let's go, let's go to my house, bro. Record a track, like. He's like, no, nah, but I don't want to. And I'm just like, bro, like, at least fight me, you know? Like, just I just want you in the background going, yeah, oh, or yeah. something, you know? Uh -huh. just, just, From yeah. the top. Yeah. Like, you know, he, but no. Nah. Have you seen that awesome Key and Peel um, video of <laughs> Over the Top Hype Man? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good, man. You know who Key and Peel is, eh? Nah. Oh, really? Who's that? Yeah. yeah. And then two black guys, um, who do comedy on Comedy Central. Yeah. Oh, they're so good, man. And like, really? I've watched everything that they've got on YouTube. And one of my favorites is called Over the Top Black, uh, Over the Top Hype Man. And mm. it's this hype man, like, going Sorry, crazy. Yeah, in I just put it into battle. YouTube. <laughs> you should, man. It's so good. Yeah. So funny. Um, I think the problem, even with myself, like, I can, like, I'm super into drum and bass. Um, yeah. Drum and, and bass, I, bro, is, like, a major for me, I eh? Like, you know? Well, I, my brother-in-law hmm. in another lifetime was actually, like, a jungle and drum and bass MC. Oh, well. In London. Yeah. True. And he, he personally knows some of those <clears throat> big dudes now. That, he was in a crew yep. that were kind of in that, in that arena. That's sick. And one day, this is a side, bit of a side story, but one day we were at, remember they used to do that um, festival in um, the Basin Reserve called Somerset? 
Yeah, bro. I've I've heard about it and stuff like that. We went to that, and it was the one where Dizzy Rascal. Or something, really. Yeah, Dizzy Rascal mm. played, mm. Um, and but they had a they had several different stages, and one was a drum and bass jungle stage. Yeah, and my brother-in-law. We were just there, like me, and my sister, my brother-in-law, a couple of cousins, yeah. and um, <laughs> he's chilling. And he goes up and he goes, "Oh, bro, I'm I'm a I'm a MC. I used to MC in um, in the UK." And the guys were like, oh, yeah, jump up, bro. Have a jump, grab a mic. So he jumped up. He's a black dude. And he jumped up yeah. and um, he was like emceeing for like a song. And then he went to jump off. And they're like, nah, bro, you can stay. He ended up, <laughs> he, he ended up like non stop emceeing um, for like two hours, bro, before they uh, let him jump off. But the reason uh, I bring that up is like, Drum and bass music is the one music where I catch myself like actually really easily being able to lay down some bars. Yeah. Like I, can, I like get into that flow and I sort of feel like, you know, words just so come to me and stuff. It. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we've actually been talking, me and my brother have been talking about like um, setting up a, like as a duo and like doing drum and bass parties and stuff. Like yeah, I'll be the DJ, he be, be the uh, MC. <laughs> and then we did. And then we'd like take turns in seeing as well, or I'd be like the backup in see. Yeah. But yeah, I I really think I really love drum and bass. I'm glad it's coming back. <coughs> yeah, um, bro, it's a new sort of scene again, eh? Yeah, and it's a really cool scene. Like, I oh, yeah. did security for a couple of um, parties on the tugboat last year or the year before, year before oh, I yeah. think, uh, drum and bass specific parties, and yep. they were awesome, man. And I got to meet all the promoters and that, and I told them I used to be a DJ and that, and they were all like super open and super interested in me coming and DJing. So I think I'm going to take this four weeks to brush up on those skills as well. Mm, and maybe start doing some gigs. I've still got, um, I'm still got a few jobs I have to get out to people. Mm. Um, and then I've got a, I've put on Facebook up here that I will do jobs potentially by appointment. Yeah. Um, so they'll bring them to the shop and then they'll leave them on the counter and then pay their money and then I'll, you know, I'm going to be two two metres plus away from them sort of deal. Then I'll sanitise their phone and do that. Yeah. Because I think it's four weeks is a long time for some people if their phone is down, you know? Yeah, bro, it's a long time. It's almost an essential service in my mind. Yeah, bro. Telecommunications are, so this is part of telecommunications. <coughs> oh, <for> sure, bro. <laughs> but I also don't mind if I don't do any jobs, but yeah, I, I will, if people will contact me and are happy to play by my rules, then I will do some. Definitely, bro. So what do you... What do you... What do you think about where we're at with this lockdown? What are your thoughts on how it's going to affect our us personally and like nationally okay <laughs> um i definitely think it should have been locked down a lot earlier sooner eh? yeah sooner definitely sooner um i think they couldn't do that because mm. they had to wait till approval there, and stuff like that i guess uh, there was yeah. as soon as there was there's a way of transmission with this virus called um, community transmission mm. and as soon as they knew as soon as they found out there was one case of community transmission they straight away that day was when we got went into lockdown yeah that's true so i agree it should have been sooner mm. but i think people would have complained if it had have happened sooner yeah and I also think um, they might have been hoping to avoid this altogether. Yeah, for sure, yeah. But as soon as there was a community transmission, they knew that it was inevitable. Mm. That's so like else... schools and stuff, eh? Yeah. 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 Um, what else do you think? What other thoughts do you have on the, on the subject? Um, I definitely think... Yeah, it could have happened earlier. Um, I reckon it's going to last a bit longer than four weeks, you know? Like, I have a, uh, 
I hate to say it because I want to go back to course, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I've got shit I need to do and I'm sure other people do too. Yeah. But like, you know, I think four weeks, you know, I reckon at least six weeks or something like that it's going to take to, but I mean, at the end of the day, like that's just, that's me, you know? <laughs> Yeah, we all I, I could be over exaggerating. Yeah. yeah, bro, that's the thing. Like, I was like today to my mum. I was like, "How many cases you reckon you've found today, or over the last day?" You know, and I was like, "Oh, I think around uh, 60 And it turns out it's like what eighty? <laughs> oh, know? what like, really? Yeah, bro. So it's In now it's, it's, it's yeah, bro. It's now at um two hundred and. Oh, where is it? Where is Man, it? I haven't even looked it up today. Yeah, bro, it's pretty crazy. Um, just having a quick look. Yeah, bro, 283 cases. Wow, 262 confirmed and mm. 283 confirmed and suspected and probable. Crazy, bro. <laughs> you, Seven you see what I mean? Like, but they're not uh, in critical condition or anything. 27 um, recovered, mm. two hospitalized in the last 24 hours. Mm. Wow. Yeah, right. it's pretty nuts. <laughs> Man. I, I listen. Do you listen to Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan podcast? No, nah, I don't listen to his podcast, eh? Hey, but that's so good, man. You've learned yeah. so much on that. But he had this guy who was um the top like virus guy in the US. He's a private guy. He and he yeah. works for like the governments and that. Yeah. He said once this thing gets going, it doubles every day. Mm. Every day, bro. <clears throat> that's nuts, man. That's like when you're like a hundred, okay, that's only two hundred the next day. But once you hit a thousand, that's two thousand the next day. And yes, then four thousand yes. and then eight thousand and then sixteen thousand the next day. Yeah, that's nuts, man. Crazy. So where's the most most are in Auckland, forty three in Auckland, thirty five Just a question, bro. Yo. Well, um, so you know how we're doing this now. We yep. you can cut this out or whatever you do, you know. Yeah. Um, will you like I'm not gonna cut it at all. You're not gonna No. <laughs> no, I just thought like a noob. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Why? What was the question? Oh, the question was you're gonna are you gonna cut it? No. <laughs> how long do you wanna keep going for? Like I don't care. All right, sweet bro. Yeah, um, it's just My mum like, will probably knock on the door and say dinner, but we can always continue. Yeah, man. Like, and yeah. we can always stop whenever. Like, we've already yeah. talked about some gems and... Yeah, yeah. This is only part one, you, you know, like... about some new music, hey? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Um, yeah, so that's flipping interesting, man. I didn't yeah. realise we'd jump that high. Oh, so yeah. since... What was it? Sun Monday. It was two hundred. It was one hundred and twenty. One hundred and two on Monday. One hundred and two. Oh, Beginning bro. of Monday. It's crazy. Because I predicted we'd hit a hundred by Sunday, and I was like twelve hours out. Yeah. Um. So now we're nearly. By tomorrow, we might be three times what it was on Monday. Yeah. Oof. It's gonna, it's gonna be nuts, bro. It's gonna jump. <laughs> so, have you guys like got like food reserves and stuff like that, or um, is in like food to eat and? Oh yeah, bro. My parents are pretty sorted out with that. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Cool. Because I'm not, I'm not living in town anymore. Back no. Then. Um. Yeah. That's probably good actually for this anyway. Eh? Definitely, bro. Because like yeah. you know. And don't have the money to to support yeah. myself any other way, you know. True. Well, the <clears> landlords <throat> at my shop um, sent me an email yesterday sending saying don't have to pay rent for the next four weeks. True. Do you have to back pay it though? Like, no. True. I'm up to date. Have... Yeah. No. It's right. like they're totally suspending it for the next true. four weeks. And That's it was mean. it went to everyone in the 
the blocker shops that they own. Um, True. The shops, yeah. No, I was just talking to my mate, and he said, but that's because they are getting, like, they don't have to pay the mortgage or whatever for yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Well. So it just trickled down. Mm. So bro, tell me you know about, what's real um, crazy? What? Oh, sorry, bro. No, you go. Bro, go to Google, okay? Yep. yep. And type in Quinn. Yep. Dot W A V, okay? And then just hit enter and then look to the right. Quinn Wave musical artist. Nice. Yeah, bro, that's crazy, bro. I just searched it up earlier. I was like, what the hell? Type <laughs> Brett type Brett David Foster and hit enter. Alright, Brett. Spaces? Yeah. I'm the first, like, page, I think. Oh, yeah. Photographer, just, filmmaker. Just about every single one of them on the first oh, page. Oh, sure you can see me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> can you? And the photos we took from the photo mesh. <laughs> I didn't see them on mine. What yeah, do I bro. see if I click images? No, if I Sorry, click it's images, not me. It's oh, yeah, I can see Quinn lots of photos. Oh, Quinn O'Ween. Yeah. Yeah, I see that one. Oh, bro, I got a new camera. What'd you get? Oh, bro, it's nothing special, though. <laughs> Anything it's a nothing, Canon bro. Ixus 115HS. 115HS. Yeah, bro, it's a small little thing, but that's what I was wanting, remember? Yeah, for real. Now, those are good, man. And um, yeah. what year is it? Oh, I wouldn't Yeah, it's blue, got bro. the CMOS sensor on it, bro. Oh, so, is it like the old film type of thing? Like yes. The, um, yep. the, a lot of people are looking for these old CMOS sensor cameras now. Mm. And there's even a woman in the States who is actually full-time fashion photographer with yep. the old CMOS sensors cameras. Oh. Um, they don't get super high resolution, but yeah. they, there's a certain look to them. Yeah. Actually, I'll, um, on, are you still on Brett David Foster? Yeah, bro. Click on my website, the top one. Oh, actually, I'm not on it. <laughs> my bad. BrettDavidFoster.com. Here we go. Yep. And there's a thing called shooting, one of my blog posts, shooting old digital cameras. Oh, yep. Have a look at the images on that, man. Fuck. Caleb Hart, I see him. <laughs> <laughs> um, those are all shot with like a 7 megapixel CMOS sensor. Bro. And they've got a real film look to them, man. Like way yeah, more, bro. especially that one, high um, that one of at um, C and Simon's old place of their two cars. Oh yeah, well, where's that? On that. So are you you're on my website? Yeah, bro. And you've gone to that one um, shooting old cameras. Yeah. Scroll down a bit, and you'll see some black and white images. So this coming up with Dolge World Tour, Quinoine, shooting old digital cameras. Yeah, that one. Bird. Click on shooting old digital cameras. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Scroll down. Yeah, I can see it now. You see that photo of, like, C's car, or some car, and the white car? Have a click on that, bro. It should bring it up, I guess. True, that's cute. It looks like film, eh? Yeah. That's straight out of the camera. No editing. Fuck. Do they do black and white shooting? These, this particular one done is, is a Canon um, PowerShot. Oh, the photo of it's above, actually. PowerShot. Is it the one that I used? No, I sold that one. No? Oh, true. It was a bit too good. Yeah. It was kind of that too stuck. good. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was right in between, like a good digital camera is just a good high quality pixels. Yeah. There's no real there's no real soul to them. Yeah. Um, but this S seventy is like maybe twenty years old, bro. It's an uh, old camera. True. Two thousand twenty, two thousand. Yeah, maybe fifteen years old. Yeah, um, and I got three of them, bro. 
far out, bro. They just take such beautiful pictures. Yeah. Like that one, see that one in the, um, at the burnouts with the woman holding her baby? Oh, yes, the black and white one. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like film. Yeah, it does, bro. Like nice yeah. and diluted. Yeah. And you, even the grain structure is, looks like film. Yeah, bro. I really like that camera. I have to start shooting it more, actually. So I think you'll get something similar to that with your the camera that you've yeah, got, bro. Yeah, sick. And I think I, it has a black and white setting as well. Really? I've brought, I literally just bought it for 20 bucks off some guy on Facebook, eh? Hey? Damn, like, that's good. But it's so good, eh? Hey? He wanted 30, bro. I was like, bro, I got 20 bucks. Like, <laughs> you know how I am, bro. <laughs> good on you, bro. That's yeah, really gotta, gotta get that hustle, bro. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have a black and white setting on them. Oh, I have to check it out after. Remember that photo, that photo mesh we went on when we shot that, um, those real old digital cannons oh yeah bro at um silver stream in that yeah they yeah, were terrible bro. man the photos out of that thing but i really want to like get out of this quarantine stuff sometime next week or so i can take some photos of no one in the street you're allowed to you're allowed to go for walks yeah you're just not allowed to go with anyone else yeah what Let's like your family or nah uh you're allowed to go with the people that you're directly quarantined with. Oh, yes. So like my parents. Yeah. Anyone that's in your house right now, but no one else. True. Yeah. Oh, so it's like we're in like some confinement jail or something, okay? <laughs> yeah, home, home arrest. Yeah, bro. Home D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crazy. But home D I, I feel ripped nation. off, bro. <laughs> I feel ripped off. I didn't break the law and I'm on home D. Didn't even benefit. <laughs> <laughs> so what music are you working on now though um so you heard of mac miller right yep so i'm going for quite like a mac miller style and the whole ep is just going to be like it's going to be free songs of like a mac miller type of vibe like you know quite chill mellow um nice. you know yep um yeah bro which is kind of similar um even um oh what the heck is his name i knew that was going to happen as soon as i thought of someone <laughs> uh super famous dude with pet face on the pets on his face little peep now nah, the new the the superstar dude what the heck's his name mm. um post malone oh yeah bro like his um, I just, stuff I just, was kind of similar to that as well eh? yeah bro yeah bro um, I just got to grab tea, bro. I'll give you a call back after if that's all good. Yeah, bro. I reckon um, we'll wrap this and this will, I'll just post yeah. this as, uh, as chat number one and we'll go from there. Yeah, sweet, bro. All right, bro. Well, be safe and um, I'll talk to you another time. Yeah, man. All good. Yeah. Later, cuz. All right. Sweet as. See, See ya. ya. Bye.